What's up everyone, Darkblade here bringing you my top 5 beginner's tips for Bloodborne. Number 5, don't forget to farm. Are you struggling against a boss? Stuck on a certain area? Well maybe you're a little bit under leveled or need to purchase some better gear. If this is the case, you may need to farm a little, which is sometimes referred to as grinding. So head on over to an area you know you can tackle and just go through it a few times to build up both your blood echoes and items. The starting area in central Yharnam is great for blood vials too, if you're low. Some people may be put off by grinding, but in Bloodborne, even grinding and farming can be a challenge, especially if you get careless. Number four, don't take risks with blood echoes. Do you have a large amount of blood echoes? Enough to get a piece of armor or level up a few times? Then don't take risks, head back to the Hunter's Dream and use them up. Okay, it means that some enemies will respawn, as using the lanterns to return to the Hunter's Dream will respawn them, but it is better just to fight a few more enemies than risk losing a large amount of precious blood echoes. Number three, be aggressive. Bloodborne has a regen health system if you attack directly after being hit. With this in mind, sometimes it's more beneficial to be aggressive after a foe has attacked you to get back some of that health they just took from you. This also will save you a potential blood vial. So with this in mind, being aggressive can sometimes be key to bringing down foes. Number two, be observant. Study enemies' moves and attacks. Doing this will make things easier for you in the long run, especially with bosses. Every enemy has a set move list and attack pattern. Knowing what attack is incoming is sometimes key to succeeding. Just be aware that bosses can sometimes change their patterns once they hit certain health limits. And finally, number one, explore. In Bloodborne, exploring is so important. Not only does it unlock shortcuts to save yourself the hassle when you die, but it also allows you to find keys, items, and even story-related NPCs. Bloodborne has multiple endings, and one of the hardest endings to get involves a lot of exploring, so take your time as exploring is well worth the effort. Anyway, I hope these tips help, and until next time, I've been Darkblade bringing you my top 5 beginner's tips to Bloodborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.